Jessica Kahn, proudly representing the Fleming County FFA chapter, and today I will be doing a presentation over Starland Farms. Our mission and objective is to have a 300-acre farm with registered semitall cow-calf pairs. Our main goal is to produce high-quality beefs and replacement breeding stock in order to meet the demands of beef customers and the population of the growing world. Starland Farms will run 100 head of registered Simmental cow-calf pairs. We will account for a 3% death loss, but take all precautions to not have this rate. Each crop of calves will be divided into three sections. Market, breeding sales stock, and breeding replacement stock. 20 heifers will be kept back every year, and 5 bulls every 5th year as this will replace the bulls that need to be sold and the cows that are getting too old to keep. All sales will be made private treaty at a local market or at the annual Starland Farms sale. Each cow will produce five calves and then will be sold, and each bull will be kept for five years and then will be sold, as this will allow for an ample amount of profit back from each of the stock, and the bulls are getting too old, as well as the cows, to produce how Starland Farms needs them to. The stock will be divided into five herds of 20 cows per herd. This will allow for each cow, each herd will have a different calving stage. First calf, second calf, etc. After the fifth calf, the cows will be sold off. Each cow will come in costing $2,000. If she has market heifers, they will bring in $1,200, leaving $800 in the cow. If she has market steer, it will be $1,500 coming in from the steer, leaving $500 in the cow. If she has a breeding stock bull, it will be $3,500, which will leave $1,500 profit in the cow. If she has a breeding heifer, it will, leave, it will bring $2,300, which will leave $300 profit in the cow. This is after the first year. All prices are based on current market cattle prices and Stonegate Farms recent annual sale average prices. Cow gross profits. If a cow had a market heifer each year, the cow would make $4,000 over the course of five years. If she had a breeding stock bull, it would bring in $15,500. The average per cow will be $9,750 coming into the farm. At the average price of selling her will be $1,900, making each cow bring in an average of $11,650 per cow. This is on the first group, as after that, the replacement heifers will be coming in from our herd, so they will not be costing the farm anything. Cow-calf expenses are $250 a year, $25,000 average for the herd. Total expenses will be $750,000 for the land, $100,000 for equipment, $211,500 for the livestock. Cash sales annually will be $180,950. This is including the death loss and the replacement heifers. And 169200 will be coming in every fifth year, as we will keep the five bulls also. Cow sales starting the second year will bring in 38000 and bull sales 9000 every fifth year. Our debt repayment will be at a fixed rate and a fixed loan, and all will add up to be a cash flow debt payment of $126,704 annually. Our additional cost will be $45,000. This is from annual maintenance costs of the cows and the worker of the farm. Our payoff timeline, our initial price is $1,061,500. The cash flow annually is $126,704. $45,000 will not go towards debt payment. And our total cost that we will need to make is $171,704 for the first five years. And after that, the land, the equipment, and the cattle will be paid off, so it will be 
$46,733. After all profits, there will be a $46,246 profit for the first four years. After that, the profit will decrease a little bit from the sale of bulls. But then the land or the equipment and the cattle are paid off. So your profit goes to $162,217 per year. And in the seventh year, it will be paid off with a $66,450 pocketed and debt-free operation. This has been a business plan of Starland Farms by Jessica Klein. Thank you.